Kira kira hare mai, greetings and welcome. I am Guru. We are in Druka County with a whole new fresh community, fresh meat for the zombies, playing the No Man's Land mod. Now, this is a mod I don't know very much about. Holy crap. It's been described to me as insanity from start to finish. Oh, we're. Those are my dudes. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. <laughs> insanity from start to finish and i've heard that the hearts are extremely tough and we're of course starting with fresh community guru style which means no fist skills in fact the first available fist skills we could get bloody hell this is um this is great at least we have weapons so really i don't know what we're up against here but except what i will say is these zombies are well keen they're still coming. We're going to have to fight them off straight off the bat. Maybe? No, everyone crouch down for a minute. Well, they happen to chase us off in a direction that we did want to go. Thankfully. Thankfully. But so far, I haven't seen any normal zombies. All I've seen is plague zombies. That's a step up in the difficulty right there. So... Wow, after that exciting start. More crap. Uh, I was kind of hoping that we'll get a fuel can here. There usually is one. There it is. Oof. Yeah, so a increased difficulty mod. In the vacuum that has been left by the dark side mod, I have not had a difficulty mod around to uh, slick my vile depraved thirst for self-punishment so i thought i would give this one a go i don't know much about it like i said i've heard that the play carts are insanely tough i'm assuming that the zombie spawns are higher than they would normally be because that's a pretty mighty horde for you know jumping straight into the game i'm guessing they do extra damage I bet if I try to fight these guys, they would probably kill my followers. In fact, we should just check that they're all right. They're okay. They're not hurt. Unbelievably. Let's keep it that way. So we'll stay away from that bloater. We don't know what their vision, hearing, and awareness is like, these zombies. So I'm expecting that they will be... Uh, enhanced which is why we're being a little bit sneaky sneaky at the moment so we want to see which way this water's going great they look like they're going away from the vehicle which is fantastic looking over there we've still got bloaters and whatnot Whew. well okay what are we in line for in this series well we're going to try and kill all the play carts and complete the legacy mission of course and we're going to do it the guru way which means we start with three fresh survivors the first available selected or ones that we could possibly take who don't have any fifth skills so we peel that right back right off the get-go um, there's no cheesing uh, there's no cheats there's no uh, if I left anything out basically we do it uh, the hard way All right, let's clear this place out. Sooner I finish this shit, sooner I get back home. Coming out of small side. Wow, there's more than one. All right, sounds like there are a few of them actually. lucky to get a plague sample already i guess that's going to be one of the benefits of having what looks like just plague hearts around uh plague hearts plague zombies around this whole 
map is that we should hopefully get more plague samples. I mean, we've got one already so far, which is pretty good. And we have not been in every room. I know the one. So hopefully this mod will work because it's no longer available on Nexus mods. It may be available somewhere else, but I'm not too sure. If you do know, by all means, let me know in the chat. That would be really useful. Plus any information on the mod that you may have because I'm playing blind at the moment. Or if you want to see me muddle through, don't tell me anything, and we'll just see how long I can survive. Okay, so we do need materials. Um, let's check what's in the trunk of a car. We could be lucky there. Oh, he's charming. Okay, we got materials. Things are looking good so far over here. All right. We'll have to see what the material cost of everything is. So, the exciting times of starting a new game. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go for that. Except it could break straight away. So what we might do is try and collect some more materials from somewhere. This gas station can sometimes have it. Half-built house can sometimes have those. I don't want to take the car because we don't have a toolkit for it and it could break. Plus, we probably need to just kind of test the waters gently with our little toe to see what we're actually up against here. So we've got no guns at this stage. Yes, yeah, so no legacy characters. Um, no boons, of course. No red talon. The list will be in the description for you to enjoy. The things we deprive ourselves of. All right. Could get lucky here. We have got lucky here. But it is very early days. Very early days. But sometimes you can get a materials ruck from the Spill Royal Station. I think I may have even got fuel and materials here once. If I remember correctly. But that's a long shot. Probably not. Probably not. So yes, I've played a fair bit of modded uh, State of Decay 2 in the past. Primarily the Dark Side mod. Um, you can check out my, um, my channel for previous uh, series of that. I've defeated it twice. It's defeated me once. Ah, there we go. There's the materials. So, right. We'll probably need both of these. So we'll come back. So whilst I'm used to playing modded, I have no idea what this one is going to offer. Or whether it's even going to work. Because this is post update 33 and 34. We don't know exactly what we're dealing with here. You know, we'll keep using our hatchet. It seems to be working for us. I'm usually a blunt weapon guy, but we'll go with hatchet for now. It'll stop me... Becoming overconfident in my combat abilities. Which is a good point, actually. Let's see. What are our combat abilities? So we've played Tetherball. That's our combat ability. But we do have a crazy metabolism. Sometimes wastes food. Uses extra food, but plus 45 stamina. And a little bit of fighting skill. So there we go. Tetherball. Well, I suppose you swing and hit things with a bat in Tetherball. So it has transferred to the zombie apocalypse. Kids, don't throw that game out. You may need it to train yourselves up into the world's best zombie apocalypse survivor. All right, probably up on the roof, I'd say. Yes, no, maybe. 
Nope. Oh, get down. Right. Ah, of course, it's a gas station. It's out the front where the gas pumps are. Might get out that billboard and have a quick look around. Get down to the guns, gun station. Get down to the gun shop and get some, some armaments. We might just have a quick look at this uh, here gas tank because there's usually some chems and the like around, which we probably will need at some stage. Uh, that's pretty close. If it comes for me, we might have to we might have to bug out. We're going fast. Woo, risky. Oh, we got it. Right, now we are heavy, so let's just get back to base. Good work. So we've got fuel now, and we've got our materials. We can start building an infirmary. I have a strong suspicion that's what we'll need more than anything else. So ammo is next on the list, yeah, for sure. Now, even though, though we've got a gas can, we're probably not going to take our vehicle down first up. The same reason as we didn't before, because we kind of just need to I'm glad we've already got a start on building this feel our way into the game without, you know... Waking up a whole lot of stuff. We can do that on foot. We've got good sight lines. Can y'all spare a few? We got issues here. We got See issues. You Folks like you are a breath of fresh air. Uh-huh. Well, we've got one plague sample. Right, we want to get to that gun shot for sure. Bit of a horde going past, but we'll swing around behind them and well, at least it's hopefully by the time they move on, we'll be good to move in and clear that gun shop out. No shame in stealthing one zombie at the moment. This place is really starting to come together. Right, that was quick. Alright, so obviously need an infirmary, need a workshop. I'm thinking. Bunch of nothing in this place. We may need a level two infirmary before we even need a workshop. We're not going into the Tartan Mart just yet. So I'll be interested to see how this mod reacts with the new update 34. So far it seems okay. Hasn't crashed yet. It's a bit risky going in and potentially spawning in zombies and having to fight them off with this mob here. So what we'll do is we'll actually go in around the back and then we'll be at a greater distance. So hopefully if there is a melee, they will not hear us. Oh yeah, there's definitely someone in here. He says. It looks like there may not be someone in here. This may be ours, or ours. Which would be great news. Looking pretty good. No Zeds around. Haha. No <laughs> Not even close, buddy. Alright, we need we need guns. 
not necessarily for me, but for my followers. When I say followers, I mean people sit for base defense. Now, I could have brought a follower down here with me to check out the... Um, to come as a bit of a pack mule as well. But as I don't know what this mod is actually going to throw at me, I'm just being a little bit cautious at this stage. Nice. A okay, 22 carbon, carbine. Oop. Careful, mate. you wake the dead. Not that the dead Something sleep here. It's great. So let's have a look. We've got 420 influence. And down here would be a pretty cool spot to have a an outpost. Now that we can get a meds one down the road. So a good combo is fuel, meds, and food. But that's three and we've only got two. At this stage, let's see, ammo. Hmm, with ammo we could get a watchtower. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Yeah, I think we'll hold fire on the outpost for now. Just see how we get on. We're in no great rush. Although we do use quite a bit of food. And we use more food than we would normally because our chap here is... Uh, well, he's... Uh, he has that crazy metabolism. So food is going to be pretty important. So yeah, so we need to think about how we're going to lean into this into this series and into this map with this community. This is a pretty good start. I don't like what we've done so far. So we're actually going to put this guy into shot and swap out. Ah, Chrissy. Chrissy's taking a hit somewhere along the way. I'm gonna see if Rusty Apple take care of this. I hope it does. Let's grab Brian with his You Shall Not Pass shirt. Like it. He is a fitness boxer and a social butterfly. That's pretty good. So he can box. Got a bit of cardio. Good health. Nice. He'll do. And our weapon, of course, it's a carpenter's hatchet. And right, so what am I thinking? I'm thinking it's worth popping down here when the vehicle now that we took a look. We didn't did we see ferals? No, we did not. In fact, we might just check in here, because if we get a toolkit, that will definitely unlock some possibilities. Dang. Afraid not. I usually save these houses for when it gets right, guys. Ready to get back in the game. for when it gets dark, and try and range out early in the in the daytime. But we'll be lucky to if we find a toolkit anywhere else. At this stage, anywhere close and easy. So we'll see what we can find. Of course, we've got no doors, which means not being able to take out screamers as we drive past, etc. Looks like a good spot.
Yeah, we're going to share out the workload early. Trying to think of where we might get a crossbow. Ah, I know where. Up the end of this road. There is... A military checkpoint. In fact, at both ends of the road, one of those should have. Should have. Uh, some guns and supplies. Alright, we're going to come in this way. No spawns, eh? And... Dang. We will not find materials here. That's a little unfortunate. It's usually a go-to spot for materials. So what we'll do is we'll instead work on my military outpost idea. Because it is also close to a, a Big Daddy's auto repair. Where we may be able to sneak in and get a toolkit as well. The air feels thick. There's gonna be a plague heart nearby. Uh-huh. I'm sure there is. It's about as close as we want to get, I think. I better stay on my toes while I'm in plague territory. Did he hear me from down there? Holy cow. Alright. Good news is there's stuff here to... There's stuff. There's stuff here to search. Keep an eye on him. Ooh. One even closer than that. I can hear them just on the other side. There's a kick in the teeth. We will take this guy out. Get back under cover and continue our search. Oh, he's like right there. Keep on walking. Shambling. Really, we need to get our car ship shape, a weapon in the hands of our um, our base defenders, crossbow would be great. Uh, we need to resource up um, in the immediacy so that we can so that we don't have any morale penalties because they're bad enough as it is. Got more ammo, that's excellent, and we have to set up a couple outposts as well exactly where we do that though I'm still deciding alright that was pretty good work we're just going to scoot over here and stealth kill the zombie because we are in the plague zone wow that's a decent sized horde down the road yeah that's not a normal horde so there's definitely mod stuff happening. Ooh, this is exciting. Do not have a big backpack. Or trunk. Okay, um, do we try for... Uh, seconds auto repair, rather. Not Big Daddy, but much the same. That's actually pretty good. I think they're my only real painkillers. Okay, so we're moving away from our vehicle. So it's squeaky bum time. No being a dumb. 
play card territory. Yeah, we're going to search this place out for a... Holy crap. For a toolkit. Okay, we got spawns in there. Yeah, there's another. You never do get used to the snow. As long as there's not delayed spawns, we should be all right. Knock on that. Uh oh. That won't work. And we're out of here. I don't need to look behind, I know what's coming after me. Just in case if you're interested, <laughs> a mob of red. Alright, hopefully that didn't wake up the heart. It doesn't seem to. So we're just going to drive down a little bit and see whether we could get around that mob and back in there. No. They are definitely on uh, obstruction duty for me. Right. Well, we're not leaving empty-handed. We've got some good stuff. So yeah, let's get this back to the outpost, back to base. Tell you what, there are campsites over here. Where who knows, we might just get lucky on the old uh, crossbow front. Oof, a lot of them. We've only got one snack, so we're going to run out of stamina pretty quick if we try and fight these guys. I was perhaps a little rash. I was trying to do the old sneak in and out of the car, but I kind of messed it up. But somehow we got away with that. Pretty happy with that. One of these guys has got to draw, drop a plague sample for me as well. Or not. Well... I guess there's no knowing. Finding reasonable amount of parts so far. And we've got gun parts. Yes, there we go. Excellent. All right. That gives us the option to go and complete the mission. The starter mission, which will give us 500 uh, influence. All the two plague samples. And with those, we can set up outposts before nightfall. Now, which ones do we want? You know, I'm actually thinking just bog standard food and meds at this stage. And there's a feral. Surprised we didn't get one sooner, but it's modded. So Dark Side started off pretty quiet as well. If, uh, if you've seen one of my previous series on dark side started off quiet but ramped up to consistently throwing five juggernauts at me so it definitely uh definitely winds up so i'm expecting nothing less from this mod to be honest okay 
grab those. Wow, we do not have much in the way of anything. So we'll take those to trade and we'll take those two samples. Excellent. Um, I think there's enough gas in the car to get there and back. Yeah, we are super low on meds, right? Yeah, food and meds. So we want to come down here past this med station and then up the road to these guys. Uh, these guys were here the whole time. I could have helped out earlier, you know. If we'd known they were there. That might be worth checking out. Did not mean to do that. Okay, who are we talking to? Does Andre know we're here? Andre? Where are you? Good job. There we go. Anders, sorry, not Andre. They gave us fuel, which is great. I appreciate that. If somewhat heavy, then we'll go back and we'll see what they've got because we've still got trades to do. As night comes down, we're doing all right. What's up, kid? Guess what? Something's come up. You really don't want to see what will happen if we don't find more meds. I hear you. Something's come up. We don't know what it is. Okay, what's come up? Nothing. Hey there, stranger. I think we can help each other out. Okay. All right. So we got 998, which is pretty good. Uh, we could get a gun. These guys are just friendly as opposed to any, uh, any more than that. Allies, for instance. It's not a great gun, but it is a gun. And energy drinks, they could come in handy. Hmm. Or do we hoard it? You know, I think we'll hoard it. We'll hang on to that sort of stuff for now. We'll, we'll keep our influence. Because we don't know when a wandering trader might suddenly show up. And give us the option to purchase something pretty decent. Yeah, there's a ratty old shed. Let's go check it out. Ah, uh, yes, of course there is. Beautiful starry night in Drucker County. I'm excited. I'm keen to see what this uh, what this mod has to offer. It's been recommended to me before, but my hands were full. I was busy. But now I'm keen to check it out. See what it's like. So far, it hasn't really landed a, a glove on us, but to be honest, I don't think it's even woken up yet. All right. Um, do we want to wander from here on foot? Down to the meds place. Down to the pharmacy. I mean, we could drive. It'll be noisy. Yeah, you know what? Driving would bring all of that 
down to this place. So what I'm going to try and do is get into the pharmacy. I'm going to try and clear it out. And I'm going to try and outpost it. That doesn't work. Well, we can run back to base or run back to the car. Seven containers, that's uh, it's a good sign. been pretty gentle on the spawn so far. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder where they are. Oh, it's almost boring when it's this quiet. <laughs> Famous last words. So let's claim this now. Okay. Work's done and this outpost is ready for use. Alright, so where do we need to get to for this guy? Oh, we have to get back to Geronimo. Okay, let's quickly search this place out and then we'll get on to catching that thief with our food. Hill press. That's awesome. That is so good. I'm going to put this in here immediately. And we're going to chuck it in our infirmary immediately. Allows me to build, to make 50% uh, more painkillers, which, believe it or not, I think I'm going to need. Our mid ruck, brilliant. So far, so good. So far, so good. Keep searching here. Actually, we're going to keep that. We might have to actually test out our throwing arc. Our throwing range. It was increased in Dark Side. I don't know if it's increased in this mod. At some point we're going to have to test that out. And who knows, it might be here. Yep, let's try it out. It's not terrible. But it felt about you normal, right? Yeah, that did not go very far at all. So no increased throwing range. It's okay, we can live with that. Okay, let's go sell... This last Welcome, bit, this Come last in. luxury. Got anything useful? You're looking to Ooh, 102, yeah. that's pretty good. So who are these people? So we've got a craftsman, Erica. Hey, we've got Stephanie, who is a chemist. What's up, kid? And we've got Anders the Blank hey, Slate. Do they have any books? Okay. They do not. Um, we're going to keep that 800. We're not going to buy that hunter's model. I think we'll be able to find another gun in our travels. Right, let's get this puppy back to base. Leave them to <laughs> deal with that horde. That I may or may not be responsible for. Oh, we're going to have to hit him. That's all good. Nice work. So more fuel. Is that we do need more materials, though. Indeed, yay for us. Good stuff. Trying to swap out again and we'll grab Chrissy. Alright, now, because it's dark. Got that fruit stand. Oof. We're gonna, yeah, we are going to starve soon. But even so, I think 
Yeah, that should be fairly safe now. Yeah, we'll we'll pop down the hill and we'll grab that food. See if we can find food. Then we'll come back and we will loot these uh these local buildings. Go. Okay, all the blow to fall over. That's why I, that's what we need to know. We are grow it up. This place has outpost written all over it. Yeah, except we needed meds more than we needed food. Having said that. There's this place, and there's the uh, Tartan Mart, I think it is, next to the gun shop. Either of those would actually make a pretty good, um, pretty good outpost as well for food. Wow, he's real close. Okay, we can't get caught in there with a bloater. I imagine the bloaters are suicidally dangerous. You see me too. Does that summon zombies? Doesn't appear to. At least not at those kind of ranges, so sweet. sample that's pretty good actually because we will need plague cures there's a good argument to go straight up that hos straight up to the main hospital try and get that plague cure before the map gets too violent you know there's also the half finished houses up in this vicinity too which would be worth having a look at so we've definitely got options. For this night, though, we probably just want to stay uneaten. Chomp free. Sans injury. Okay. So we run down to this food stall and back. It's Oh, no, it's been looted. Right. No food in there. Could make a good outpost, though. Do we do that? We might have to. <laughs> Occupied. Ambush zombies lying on the ground. Locked up tight. Yeah, it's not what we want. Coming out. Nothing here. Let's hope the next one's a winner. <laughs> Damn, we're gonna have company. Oh, nasty! They're uh, legless. Okay, okay. Do we need to hold the ground here? Yeah, I think we do. Rest, rest, rest.
done. Rest. You hear Screamer? I hear Screamer. There he is. Took a scratch, nothing too bad. We didn't want to give it up and run away. Wow, it's still heading in. Alright, so it looks like sound carries quite well on this game. Well on this mod. If I use my mini-map, I might know, but I don't. No artificial aids or, or benefits for my survivors. It's all organic. I need my own my own wits and skills to survive, which greatly reduces our chances. Oh, this again. A heavy weapon. Okay. We haven't even talked about going after a play cart, but if we were going to, it would involve talking about a heavy weapon. So I'm going to claim this. Because I Looking don't like starving. Okay. That looks pretty good. Got a clear run down. That ranch house should clear out. And so we need more materials. For that... We need to go up the map. Ah, right. We need to uh, get our food. So let's do that first. Ooh. ooh. So this is why we need. Uh... God dang it. Okay, we're going to try and get him. Missed. Sweet. Right, so we have to switch to Jeremiah, I believe, or talk to Jeremiah. Where is he? Let's see what the mission says. Take control of Geronimo. Okay, we can definitely do that. And we'll probably take that. Alright. Geronimo, you're up. Sorry, Geronimo. You you are up. Gonna take that. Quite like the carpenter's hatchet. It's it's working for me. Um yeah, we'll fill up on snacks. We will take a pipe bomb in case it gets messy. Talk to Chrissy. Right. Chrissy, I think, just walked out the front door, right? You know, we could use some fresh faces around here. Bye. Don't get killed. It's true. Yep, we put Chrissy in. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Where will we find this food thief? That's kind of handy, because that we can get to. Well, I've been pretty pleased how stable this mod is so far, so... No problem so far. Drop your shit or I'll drop you. Wait till you get there, buddy. Take a moment here. Hey there. Stay safe. All right. Can we take a moment here? Feels good to take out the trash. All right, they here we go. Be bothering us anymore. Mm. 
not what I meant to do, but that's okay. We'll get this desperately needed food back. And there is this car's lootable, so we'll just jump out and do that while we're at it. Oh yes, we've also got the other food ruck that we had in the back of the vehicle. Desperately need food? Yeah, yeah, well, don't we? Have you checked the back of the car? Piff. There won't be any of that. Going for samples here. We'll be lucky though. Um, right. Dang it. It's hoping that that warehouse there might be searchable, but it is pre-looted. Oof, quite a few of them. Geronimo is nice and rested though. Are a few of them though. But hey, they're not going to bother us any further, I don't think. Not this night. Unless we go bother them. Which we won't do just yet. Because we're still trying to find our way into this game. And we still need more materials more than anything else. But we don't want to go up up to here in the day, in the night. We'll probably do that at first daylight. To try and get as many materials rucks as we can. And then get back see we've already got juggernauts on the map that's looking like a fairly nasty spread appearing um shipping containers yes they might have uh materials as well but we'll we'll check all that in the next episode so thank you so much for watching i appreciate it i hope you're going to watch and enjoy this series with me do hit that like do hit the do hit that subscribe i really do appreciate it and it really helps the channel um thank you so much for watching hope to catch you for the next one kakete bye for now